everybody, it's me, May. How y'all doing? Listen, I'm about to go to Jackson. <laughs> I wanted to come and make y'all a video and tell y'all thank you for the ones who gave me that advice on um what could be wrong with my truck, the clutch switch. I um and some other people told me also that that could possibly be what it is. But anyway. What I did was I went on YouTube and I saw someone video. His name is Floyd. Um, Floyd something, I forgot. But I will put it in the description box. Because he gave um, three different ways on how you can bypass your clutch switch. Now me, I was using it to... Um, well, I sat out here in my mom's yard about 20 minutes trying to get my truck to start. It never was start. So I thought back to that video that I had watched about bypassing the clutch switch so i was like i'm gonna try what he suggested and bypass my clutch switch and if my truck start then that is the problem so i did that i did the third example or way that he gave on how to bypass your clutch switch and it's using a paper clip and so um he said go up under the um clutch pedal and get the thing the clutch switch connection thing or whatever and um disconnect it unhook it take the paper clip you know straighten it out bend it into like a u-shape or uh, horseshoe shape or whatever and it have like when you when you disconnect you know you got like these three things sticking in there and so you pull it out and so um take the paper clip put one in in the first hole and the other one in the third hole and you should be able to start your truck um, well, if it's the clutch switch, you should be able to start your truck. Oh, that's outside. Um, you should be able to start your truck. So I tried that and my truck started and she's been starting ever since. So now, um, I'm sitting in my truck now with her off. Matter of fact, I'm going to show y'all what I did. Let me unplug y'all from, uh, from the charger. Hold on one second. Let me get. Okay, y'all. I'm back. So let me show y'all what I did. Oh, I need to sweep. I got sand all in this darn truck. Anyway, let me show y'all what I did. So, right here is where I disconnected it at. And as you can see, I bent the paper clip and straightened it out. And I stuck it in like that. And, um, now I can start my truck without, um, pushing down on the clutch. So, I let it go through its little cycle. And now she starts with no problem. So I'm not gonna leave her like that. I'm going to Jackson to take her to the freight line shop. Hold on one second, y'all. Okay, I'm about to go to Jackson and take her to the shop um, so they can replace or whatever it is um, they have to do to get it worked or fixed or whatever. But I wanted to show y'all that um, and thank y'all. And thank the person who made that video flawed. Like I said, I'm going to put his um, thing in the description box. Because he did give three different ways on how to bypass your clutch. That was the easiest for me. To use the paper clip. <coughs> Excuse me. So, um, yeah. So, I'm going to put that in the description box. So, if you want to go check out his video and see the other two ways, you can. And plus, I want to give credit what's credit is due. Like, y'all gave me advice so I come here to make this video to tell, tell y'all thank you and then I looked at his video on how to bypass it and I used his bypass method I guess it's his I don't know it's probably just something that he know um I used that I but I do know he the one I, I saw his video so I'm just giving credit what credit is to um on how to bypass it so I used that and so now I can go to the shop because I think they've been getting over on me at these shops and stuff like that. And it's partly my fault because I'm not very knowledgeable when it comes to the mechanical side of the trucks and stuff. So, um, like, I really appreciate y'all telling me different things to look for and to try. And that's helping me. And someone had told me, somebody video, I'm going to have to go back and look at it because I forgot the person name that he said. But he said that person talk a lot about the mechanical side of the trucks. So, um, I'm going to go and start watching a lot of their videos, get caught up on their videos on what they have to say. Because I am paying attention. I know sometimes it may seem like I'm not paying attention, but I am paying attention to y'all. Um, just like with the people who 
was giving me advice about my back and stuff. I know someone has suggested an MRI. Somebody asked me, have I been stressed? Yes, I have been stressed. <laughs> been stressing a lot, really. Um, that's more on the personal side. Um, not too much in trucking. I ain't been stressing too much um, doing this. But, um, yeah, so... I'm going to upload it. The other reason why I'm going to Jackson, well, see, everybody know my cousin, he work at Freightliner also, but he work at a different one, not the one in Jackson, but he, he could switch the um, thing out, but he said he'll be able to do it like Thursday or Friday, today is Monday, and I don't want to wait that long. Um, plus, like I said, I use the paper clip, and I'm not going to leave that in my truck like that, which he said that's a good way to test it and see if it's your, um, actually your clutch switch, and so, um, but... I guess he's kind of sort of thinking that maybe if you leave it like that too long, it could possibly mess your truck up or against the computer. I, I really don't know. And he probably just telling me that just so I won't be lazy and leave it like that, which I'm not going to do that anyway. So I'm telling y'all that. So anyone who tried that, um, you would know you might not want to leave it like that because I'm not leaving mine like that. It's going to stay like that till I get to Jackson and they get it all changed out, switched around and get it hooked back up. Uh, but I think the shots been getting over on me because sometimes they'll know that it's exactly what it is but they'll go and check 101 things and then they'll charge you this crazy amount so that's why I wanted to tell y'all thank you too for the ones who told me to look at your clutch switch so I could get past all that I don't need y'all to diagnose nothing I don't need you to check 101 things because I think they lying to me I really believe they, they lying to me they kind of started of getting over on me a little bit and I guess I kind of fucked myself in that situation, like I said, without knowing. Because, like, when y'all said clutch switch, I ain't gonna even lie. I'm like, what the hell is a clutch switch? I, what, what kind of switch is this? Is it like a light switch where you flip it on and off? I really don't know. And so then the more and more I thought about it, because um, a few other people had mentioned that to me, I thought about it and thought about it. And then I'm like, okay, it gotta have something to do with the clutch. And then I push the clutch down. I have to push the clutch down to start my truck. So that all got to be in there together. So I'm thinking, playing it over in my head, I'm like that gotta be what they talking about. Then I went to YouTube. <laughs> then I went to YouTube to this stuff like that to see um, about the clutch switch in a um, Freightliner Cascadia. And his video is about a Freightliner Cascadia. I think his was a 2011. Mine's a 2015. I just, just guess it should work on a 2015 also he did it on a 2011 so oh the other reason why I'm going to Jackson is because I know in Jackson at least the last time I passed through Jackson they do have the 2018 Freightliners and I told y'all when I had an opportunity to um to see one of those trucks and recorded that I'm that I'm gonna do that so I'm about to head to Jackson right now so y'all will be seeing another video later on Matter of fact, as this video is uploading, I'll be traveling to Jackson. And so, um, begging them why they fixing my truck to let me um, look at one of those 2018 Freightliners. So, hopefully, uh, I'll be coming back with another video with the truck showing y'all the 2018 Freightliner. And so, that's the other reason why I'm going to Jackson. I gotta stop getting something to eat first, though, because I'm hungry. I ate yesterday. My mom cooked me some cabbage greens. They were so good. They were really good. But uh, I don't want to do that right now. But anyway, y'all, let me get up off of here. Uh, is there anything else I wanted to say to y'all other than that? I think that was it, y'all. So anyway, if it is, I put it on my next video if I think about it. Um, I want to go ahead on and get up the road. Um, I may be able to pull me another load later on. I may not. We all just have to see. So anyway, love y'all. Y'all be safe out there. And I will talk to y'all later, all right? Bye.